Hello dear friends, viewers and trolls who's gonna be blocked. Today is March 15, 2021 and I'll try to answer some of your questions from pe previous uh, few videos. The semi iron, iron, <laughs> iron fist, Bulgar from Bulgaria, uh, Brat Slaven asked me why they like such a big farm and what's the point of the size and everything. Well, as any woman knows, size matter, right? Same goes for us, but hole is way too big. It's, you know, uh, oh shit, I was politically incorrect again, but anyway, so why such a big size? Um, well, you know, as Comrade, uh, <laughs> as comrade Lenin said, uh, Comrade's uh, quantity has a quality of its own and our local gypsy community when it comes to breeding knows that the best. Hide, 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 Anyway, size totally does matter because bigger is better. So, how does it actually work? Uh, you know, when reptilians are like constructing planets and so on population, I actually, I honestly, I don't know the details, but this is like general opinion. So, more animals you have, more loose can you squeeze out of them when you're torturing them. And uh, it happens that we work for them. You know, we work for a living, right? <laughs> and, and they provide the money and the infrastructure and the permits, right? So, you, you know who's in the control, right? Not only these guys, but you know, these guys as well. And um, so, you know, imagine like 100 years ago, there was like only 1 billion of us. And 150 years ago, let's say uh, 1850s or so, it was the time when our doctors at that time kind of figure out the connection between uh, sewage and uh, cholera when poo poo goes into drinking water and then we get uh, cholera which we believe it's coming from the bad smell well into it we've been, we've been kind of getting it and i'm talking about these things uh, you, at a certain point you need to have more and more technical people like engineers and doctors and so on in order to provide the infrastructure for bigger amount of uh, animals and of course you need to have industrial farming which is now of course closing its doors as you probably noticed with the food shortage and um, and then you're gonna have shit lots of animals to feed on to lots of lots of lots of children like a killer you know to skin and, uh, and then they're gonna of course freak out and um, you know, hormonize the blood and it's gonna be <sighs> like, oh, thank you, Lucifer, thank you, all shining star, etc., etc., etc. And this is like the feeding time. And uh, they do it, of course, when they have, um, no, I'm not ex Illuminati or nothing, come on. And they're gonna be having like, like all these ceremonies when they have like May 1st, Praznik Rada, <laughs> the Labor Day, you know, I mean, lots of, lots of labor going on that day. And of course, when, uh, when the sun is rising again symbolically speaking that's uh, you know who's the sun right you know the link link below openly openly glorified and yeah they're gonna confuse you that lucifer doesn't mean as actually lucifer that it actually means just a light oh come on you know if catholics can buy into that they can buy into anything so no i'm not protestant myself so uh that explains the farm i think you got the idea by now it's simply technology at a certain point what happens with the farm it simply grows into way too big farm plus there is other element as well uh, they grow the farm till the moment of uh, cyclical destruction of space and time matrix which is another big calculation designed actually for our salvation because it's also designed with a, with a test for us as well but this is from the real god oh now i'm like exiting a little bit this topic but um it works something like this um you know guys the mark of the beast which is coming and before that uh, 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 forced vaccinations if you buy into it you pass the test if you resist it even of course through the suffering because suffering will lead you to the salvation uh, there will be no more reborn in this bullshit cycle for you ways will be fine um, for you and you will find the ways to exit the matrix trust me on this one okay now um i i don't know if i answered the question i think i was pretty clear in my previous like 500 explanations <laughs> past five years but that's basically it you always gonna have more questions i know that so um that's about the size and a, and a farm and um, 
I have a feeling that I should say a few more things about that. You know, you can always write questions down. And now the confusion between demons, between Lucifer and between metaphysical evil, I will try to answer that simply through the experience of, you know, astral dreamscape I was going through and astral attacks on, uh, in this dimension and so on. So the normal demons, you know, the succubs or however they call them. Um, the normal reptiles which are floating through the astral dimension, which are just, you know, the extensions of the metaphysical evil. These people, yeah, they can cause the, uh, the how it's called, the sleep paralysis, they can even kill some people, they can give you very bad astral attacks, but essentially uh, when, you, when you overcome this fear and when you mm, kind of integrate yourself, and this is where uh, Comrade uh, Corrado Malanga really comes into perspective, meditations 1, 2, 3, 4, and his lectures, if you ever find them anywhere, he had a website, then it was gone, and I noticed that it's way too confusing because he's Italian. I did manage to um, organize that, but then it ended up on my dead laptop and a hard disk which my uh, Windows 10 cannot read, but I might be having it on my Gmail, etc, etc. I'll leave with the uh, limitations. If you leave me email and ask for it, his materials, I will send you. However, so far in the past five years, I never stumbled upon people or person who managed to learn anything out of these lectures he had so sorry for being honest right um, and um, so what's the difference between demons uh, you have these standard demons which are kind of heavyweight but they are not that big weight after certain experience you know mathematically speaking 20 years ago half of my life ago they've been big thing I was I had the problems when they attacked me during the uh, astral dreamscape um, scenario. And then I simply through all this ex exercise I learned to to simply defend from them uh, first by waking up and when I would wake up they would all, always like pressure me to go back into sleep and it was like difficult and I had a feeling as if they were like dragging me uh, like by the by the legs uh, all, all over the floor. And then I started to easily wake up and then after that I simply learned that if I just build up a light body and visualize the light spear and start hitting them with that spear that hurts them a lot. And then I learned uh, that they are actually very afraid of me as well. And then I learned that I don't even have to wake up. I can just do that and they're just gonna fuck off and I'm just gonna continue with, uh, with, a, uh, with a dreaming, which you know is another story of its own i'm not experiencing lucid dreaming i'm sucker like you but when it comes to fight i realize what i have to do that's it so that about them uh, lucifer on the other hand is a very complicated topic and i'll try to uh, go quickly here but i'm gonna leave you some links uh, down but you know let's be fair i'll give you what i can in let's say five minutes so uh, first um he he started to appear in meditations before I went to bed, uh, when I was living in Sukhumvit, uh, which is the area of Bangkok, in 2014, and he was appearing as a like beautiful angel, like uh, Davide from Michelangelo, and basically telling me, okay, now when you can spot the Illuminati, my people, uh, it's time to go to me, you know, and then I immediately telepathically understood that he's a soul, like us, not like a demon in a real sense, but he's uh, totally playing for the bad team and he's something like recruitment office he's you know in if you if you uh, visualize the reptilian uh, matrix uh, demonic matrix as amazon from jeff bezos and if you take this um uh, metaphor like that jeff bezos is like and he's a reptile obviously you can like sense it immediately that plastic face um, if you see him as the core of the evil which is destroying uh, small shops etc and small livelihoods you know it's a corona time his business can work other business cannot i think you know. um and then if you like in that hierarchy <laughs> i know it's funny but you're gonna have like lucifer lucifer represents that bitch feminist cunt from the hr department which is like uh so flamboyant and she has like a punk rock uh, haircut and she has like a, maybe a little anarchy badge and she has like doc martins but don't be fooled with that bullshit she is like corporate bitch through and through feminist bullshit psychopath you understand me 
that's him but you know he has this charm and he's like not that evil and he will be like that person he is like somewhere like let's say in the middle of management and then your planet your planet is like one of those let's say 50 big warehouses uh, where they're packing you know what and send you shit if you have money to buy it yes and we all like their products because you can actually buy yourself 511 boots from there yeah I never gonna have those again <laughs> anyway so um, so what about him um, he was like appearing like that then he then when I said no repeatedly he started to make a pressure and I was very afraid to bounce him back and then when I finally realized that I can do it I can I on my huge surprise I figure out that I can actually quite easily bounce him off and um, and then uh, we came into another another set of story he basically started to harass me I'm you know and uh, if you have a sixth sense you can understand me if you don't come on man watch funny cat videos bye bye so um, that being said or if you're standing in front of market <laughs> roll another one Johnny let's move on so um, uh, <laughs> that being said so what about him um, and then uh, you know he is like a recruiter for this old Illuminati he is like that HR department which where you can go and and cry on his shoulder and he basically represents all the sold Illuminati within within that system weird as it sounds I know um, he is also kind of kind of fish uh, omnipresent because he can be in many places and he can contact uh, many people instantaneously and he likes to have his extensions in people like a little like I don't know how to explain it like a little dot in your astral body which of course most of you never bother to remove and that's how he enters human minds and and plays with the through the inner thought mechanism one of the mechanisms is that uh, another one is playing uh, artificial intelligence playing through the um, basically fake ego consciousness etc etc but that's a completely another topic I mean you know topic of the whole mind com uh, manipulation with with you guys is just it's, it's never ending topic <laughs> and I, I, honestly I'm not gonna go into that uh, right now but if you have questions I, I might go into that again so because all these things been buried uh, in videos before and there is no way anybody normal can watch all my videos I mean come on this would be like really torture you know uh, oh shit I was I was I was Eastern European Slavic negative again okay so now let's move to the to the core of metaphysical evil and this is the thing which many of us started to sense that like big shift happened like few months ago and I could I could like clearly sense it uh, when Joe Biden got inaugurated on the 20th January this year although I didn't connect it back then but I felt the shift and I know that many of you guys felt that shift like it's really entering the very evil phase and this entity is like way too vague for me to explain so I'll I'll start with uh, what I figured it out to say when I was meditating so yes a very cold yes really very dark yes very heavy yes very uh, heavy presence and to explain you in um, in metaphor again like imagine that you have like six cents but that your six cents is like a ten ten thousand dollar radar you bought for your little fisher fisherman's uh, ship uh, and it was like discounted on two thousand because it needed shit lots of repair and it's like made in china and ten years old so you know this is like the six cents you have as a, as a human as i have as a human so when somebody who has a better dna a born in illuminati who was also trained in that and who has a higher pineal gland bigger pineal gland when he's passing by you this is like uh, you know the gunboat from the from the local navy passing by you, you know 40 meters by seven meters um, you know let's say ten five six seven million dollars value right and uh, quite strong nato uh, nato standard equipment like this and you and you sense that you sense the trader okay so that's born in illuminati when when reptile is passing by you and we are talking about shitloads of energy because these guys they really live on our prana either sucked through the astral field or simply sucked through the liver and blood of all the missing people which is a lot so when that is passing by you my friend 
this is like uh, this is like you know uh, SS Eisenhower, uh, the American uh, aircraft carrier is passing by you, and that has multi-million dollar a radar and you really sense these vibes you know this is like a reptile passing by you and of course it can see more and it can, it can scan more it can process more etc etc although they are spiritual in fear when it comes to this us little specks of energy with this like really tiny bodies then they totally dominate okay and um, and this entity which came uh, end of the January on this planet when 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 we can actually sense it you know, like you know, the Death Star from the from the Raptor um, is <laughs> Star Wars coming, da, 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 ra, 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 ra. and this is like death, death thing, like our moon, which is basically death, like moon uh, hovering above you, like you know, 10, 20 meters, which is like 20 meters should be like 22 yards above you, right? We are talking about this magnitude of the energy and of course when that came to this planet we sensed it and um, and um, and nothing nothing is ever the same like everything started to speed up very very quickly all the negative scenarios so that entity how to explain it now this was like that part of the story and another another thing of the story which i really want to say the most uh, a few days ago when I when I start to scan that entity, like look at that entity, I immediately sense like <laughs> you know, it's like immediately like touching me, and which is like the force of like a regular demon you you sense when you when you sleep and when you're trying to wake up and you attack. Like this was like stronger than that, and I could like shit. Okay, this is very powerful. And then I looked at it, and um, well, first of all, I had like horrible nightmares that uh, that. Uh, night and i i always have the same nightmares which are reoccurring and 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 continuing and this is the time in concentration camp i'm in concentration camp and the language of the concentration camp is croatian and uh, croatians are my uh, prison guards and it's very fucking scary place it's like very fuck and it's super realistic as well in in my first in my in my first horror uh, horror uh, trip i was going when that entity came and I sensed it was that I was with a, a fellow inmates and I was joking like, hey, you know, it's not that bad. At least communists and Jews are here. Some justice. <laughs> there is some justice to the madness, you know, and everybody found it as a hilarious thing. I know it's dark humor, but it's the only thing which keeps Slav people at float mentally. So, um, yeah, <laughs> some justice. So, uh <laughs> like we are only we are we are we are all in the same shit together and um but another thing i felt uh, and this came like cup after a couple of months sensing it when i really dared to look was on my huge surprise it's afraid of me and i was like why the fuck is it afraid of me i mean one flicker of uh, of a finger like that and i could be like pick up with a local mafia slash police force and another missing person nobody gives a shit you understand me pages are full of missing people guys everywhere including here and it's not accurate more people are missing that actually are on the page i would like to do update about that to show you some very weird things with the missing people in croatia um some things i noticed after studying a little bit the topic but you know let's leave it for later on so then i started to wonder why and when i was meditating at home i figured it out why um well you see it's not because you know i'm so <laughs> powerful no 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 not in this body but uh, what is happening is us as a god we, you know there is one god and we we soul people we are the extensions of that god and we are eternal okay we go through these experiences but we're gonna return back to source um, which is very important metaphor to understand you go from that source you suffer you get crucified right and then you return back to source of course it takes some top num number maybe of billions of incarnations but that's how it is eventually when god figures out all the lessons he needed she needed to figure out you know but that's another thing that's my grievances but why the fuck do it take so long time to figure it out very simple equation when you squeeze as a soul 
in a small body and when you have very very small limited amount of energy it's very easy to mind control you and uh, use you for whatever person uh, purpose there is and that's the equation so but anyway uh, let's go back and this entity knows that it's actually finite so you know there is this Jewish uh, curse Dabog daimo panemo may you have and then may you lose everything you had so nothing is more terrifying uh, as this entity as, as the source of the you know core of the evil like when you have so much prana when you have such a high uh, lifestyle meaning you know such a long lifespan and such a long lifespan uh, of uh, you know happiness because living energy brings so incredibly much happiness right we all know it uh, and then you know it's a finite and you look at these little motherfuckers you're squeezing and squeezing and squeezing again again and again and so many of them and you know that these little uh, light bulbs of energy are fucking eternal you can kill them as many times you have and can and they always live and this my friend explains why they hate us so much they are so envious and they're so angry that it actually makes them literally crazy you understand me um although your logic is if they control the whole planet and all those planets and they're fucking us all time you know why they why they hate us so much why they're so envious i mean we are the ones who suffer well that's not the point in the bigger picture they are finite and we are not and that sucks for them so um i think this was that lucifer um demons and evil and um, of course uh, always more could be said about that and it's already 21 minutes and um, how do you know that well fuck that question and another one oh yeah the Jesus thing so okay so I know that many of people who are watching me are white they are male many are Americans many are Protestants and um, and that's how it is and yeah so <laughs> you're not gonna like this for the end um, so what about the Jesus okay so first thing three things uh, to uh, explain you when you meditate and when you connect to the God you feel high level of energy especially if you do that on a place which uh, already has very good energy and cathedrals and churches in general but especially cathedrals which is the main church in the, in the city are they always built on high energy place okay for of course that beings who constructed these places clearly seen this energy it's something what we can maybe sense but they can clearly see because they're on higher level uh, another digression your dog has 86 percent of uh, similar dna as you your cat uh, 60 a monkey 98 99 percent so imagine a being which has like uh, you know 20 30 50 percent more uh, advanced dna than you and me what that being can conceive is a you know just just saying so um so when you when you experience that you experience this uplift right when you meditate etc another thing is uh, you always as a religious person you this is second level you always put that in religious context whatever your religion is it always that feeling of god always enters your religion context it in it and it's not that um, important if you're atheist or communist or something uh, your culture is based on religion of your ancestors so that along plus language plus culture plus everything what it is is always affecting your perception this is important to understand so the third um, the third element is the communication with the entities you're gonna uh, go through the uh, in meditational process and post meditational process which you think which is your own cognitive process which is actually not that is all manipulating you into understanding uh, or going into certain religious way in this in this context we are talking about the jesus and another thing what's so important with the jesus as a jesus trap is it mimics uh, very well the circle of a soul um you're coming from the god you know uh, god uh, jesus and the uh, holy spirit you're coming from the god he came to this earth he suffered he was crucified on on a cross but he came back and now he's judging and he's sitting on the right hand or left hand side uh, correct me you know some side it is so this is like what we are actually hoping to achieve and which would be excellent you know to achieve as soon as possible to finish with the suffering and to achieve the unity with the god which is ultimate happiness and the you know the only thing what every normal soul really wants and this is this 
powerful message of Jesus and this is what's actually connecting you all the time as a, as a comfort and everything plus the entities inside of you so what's the difference between Jesus and Lucifer well uh, you know I'm not saying that it's, it's actually kind of the same entity but it's coming from the same shop if you will it um, as they created the life on this planet as they um, go from one cycle to another cycle you know we still have remains from the previous cycle the pyramids uh, in Egypt the pyramids in Bosnia the Stonehenge uh, the Machu Picchu um, by the way the the foundations of the uh, Diocletian palace uh, Diocletiano palace chain split the foundations are from the previous um, um, civilization as well the polygonal stones etc etc so you know these are the remains from ours you know we've been part of the civilization but it was completely wiped out and the memory is like almost completely wiped out some little bits and parts are left in the veda you know the gods uh, throwing uh, basically atomic bombs bombs and uh, mohenjo daro and all that where you have a, a very clear radiation and signs of atomic explosions etc so but that's you know just some specks of knowledge really remained so um that's what's happening and um and you know that's that's what's gonna happen to us so but you shouldn't be so much attached to your um to your body and you shouldn't be so much uh, attached to the fear because it doesn't matter what what happens at the end we we just gonna return to the source okay now back to the jesus now i explain you how the trap works um he's not gonna save you um he's not if he appears he's gonna appear as a as a basically reptilian hologram and uh, if you when you die when you see him and the virgin mary uh, and uh, Saint Joseph, Saint Joseph, <laughs> Saint Francis, waving to you. Trust me, these are just reptilian holograms. And uh, sorry about that, but that's that's the way how it is. And what else to tell you? Nothing more. Sorry for hurting your feelings, but uh, that's how it goes with the truth. Any deity you know, anything is constructed by them. Uh, if it were truth, it would be buried a long time ago. Trust me, if it were truthful, it, if it were a real thing, it would be killed a long time ago. Okay, If they can do it in this day and age, which basically shutting down the channels left and right and um, shadow ghosting and however, you know, choking, uh, basically keeping us in our little echo boxes, um, you know, 2,000 years ago when a handful of people were uh, literate, how easy were for them to construct set of stories and... Um, and do the spin so uh, that being said uh, thank you for watching leave your comments uh, down if you troll if you have like one subscriber <laughs> and you're leaving shitty comments block raise bye bye thank you for watching and take care guys